I will not be doing any weeping. Keep your own sorrows quiet, but let the grief overcome you and weep for her children. Hmm. I want to know what's going to happen. All right, I'm going to do Avon. Goddess's presence surround you. Feel her nestle you tenderly like a mother. Understand that her grief and yours are one the deaths of many on your watch. Ella, you'll never be free of the darkness that drives you from within. Uh, this one. The intensity of her embrace deepens. Never since the unremembered days of childhood. This is slightly getting creepy. In maternal safety. My child. My child, I love you. She gonna kiss me. My own, my own. I will go. Ready to play Spider-Man? Nice. Wonder where you will, and cherish the kiss of Amadia. As suddenly as it came, the voice is gone, and you wake from its presence as if from dream-filled slumber. The pond now shines with an inner light, and standing in its waters, you feel rejuvenated. Oh, neat! Pure, as if born anew. We got healing waters. Upon this day. Neat. Can't even see the person that was standing here anymore. So close your sweet eyes and rest your head. Wasn't there someone here? There you are. Right in my face. By Armadia's grace, what did you do? I'm awesome. I spoke to the statue. It's incredible. In all my years, I've never seen the goddess bestow her blessing on someone. I am humbled to be in your presence. This is Perhaps normal. Once, when the seven gods were still strong. But it has been many years since this was anything other than a pond for me to pray at. Armadia's strength waned when the divine Lucian accepted the power of the seven. This is most unusual. Truly, we are blessed to know you. If Armadia favors you, that is all I need to know. Go in peace, brother. Uh, something and else I want to talk about. Be, oh, blessed child. You know, where anyway, find the Seeker's leader. He set off to find the soul-forged weapons of Gracchus Rex. A brave mission, and a dangerous one. But I cannot stop you. If you wish to follow in his footsteps, north of here you'll find the ruins of Gracchus' source armory. Nothing in this land can counter the Shrieker's power Holy like crap. those weapons. Without them, the Seekers are truly hopeless. Thank you for your information. In Armadia's grace, child. What you got? The moon's in the sky. The seven will show us. Safe Ooh, she's got Aether Rouge stuff. So close your sweet eyes. Dazing Bolt. Uncanny Evasion. Target characters dodging is increased by 90%. Whoo! That might be worth it. I might. Ooh. If I learn teleportation, I can switch out those gloves. I'm gonna do that. And I also might do. I want one. Ooh, Ripper Tendons. They will take piercing damage if they try to move. That's cool. Ooh. Now those are greens. Ooh. This is not. Oh, look at that pretty thing. I need to sell some of this garbage. Oh, that's not worthless. I don't think I'm going to use that either. That's garbage. Go away. 
Go away, all those. Where did I get that? I don't remember seeing that. I need to sell some of this garbage. I'm never going to do crafting. What am I doing? All right, that might be worth it. Skill books and... Ring. Uh. Yep. Constitution. Right, you can get some magic armor. Maybe. Nope. You can get some magic armor. Learn that. Tell me I didn't sell those things. Good. I don't even think I use telekinesis. So. You can wear those. Where's the other book? There it is. Alright. That can go away. Because that was from the other one. This can move. Canny Evasion, I'll keep over there. Oh, I already knew Favorable Wind. I'm glad I didn't buy that. Touch, discharge, blinding radiance. Echoes of death. Gareth. Teleport. Please come back. Wait a minute. Didn't I learn it? I know I have that for my Please items, but Bless and protect your humble I thought servant. Oops. I thought I learned that book. Did I tell me someone else learn it like an idiot? The birds are asleep. The moon is in the sky. The seven will show us you are safe in bed. So close your sweet eyes and rest your wee head. Okay, well. That's weird. Alright, whatever. Smoke and screams. Echoes of death. Gareth, please come back. Alright. Dugan. A dwarf stands by a young woman. He seems intensely focused on her, whispering and singing softly in her ear. She's staring blankly into space. Blood and bone. Oh, I thought her name was Stool. Death and, and worse. Hush now, Leia. They'll not hurt you again. You're safe now. Once Gareth gets back, we're going home. You'll see. He'll be fine. The woman rubs her neck, raking her nails across her skin as she whimpers. What's she doing to your neck? He starts at the sound of your voice, gripping the woman's arm for a moment before he relaxes. New faces. Hope you aren't bushwhacked by the Magister's too. As for her neck, she's remembering the damnable source collar she once wore. Lucky for us, the ones that my friends have. The skulls to remove them. There's many a sorcerer that's been free thanks to her. Ooh, take them all off. Uh, I'm gonna smile at her and say, "Very lucky to have a sorcerer with him." Smiles, his eyes filling with warmth as he looks at Lay. Aye, we are at that. He strokes her hair as Leia leans her forehead against his shoulder, muttering quietly about Gareth. Uh, why is Gareth so important? Gareth headed to Fort Joy. Shiny collars and all. Gareth and the Seekers ambushed the caravan and freed us. Saved every one of us from that hell. But now he's off searching for weapons to take down them Shriekers. And all we can do is sit here, thinking about the Godwoken we didn't save. What exactly it means to be Godwoken? From fragments to home. From their past to our future. From their hope to ours. 
She ain't detailed, but she ain't wrong. The God Woken are our hope that a new divine can be born. Someone to replace Lucian and push back them Void Woken. Someone to restore order and protect the source. I'd speak to Exter if you want to know more. Mm, how would you recognize one? But I ain't privy to him. One thing I do know, mind. The Void Woken have their number. They react to God Woken like no one else. Barking dogs and wolves clothing. Yeah. Seen enough void walking for a teeth lifetime. In teeth in the swamp, teeth in the air. Lay is cool. I like how she I talks. Think there's enough of them about. But don't you worry now. Gareth will be back soon. Then we'll be home in two shakes of a lamb's tail. Why are you so affected by Gareth? Part of the caravan headed to Fort Joy. Shiny collars and all. Gareth and the Seekers ambushed the caravan and freed us. Saved every one of us from that hell. But now he's off searching for weapons to take down them Shriekers. And all we can do is sit here, thinking about the God Woken we didn't save. No, you got nothing for me. The dwarf starts to sing softly as the woman rocks slowly in her seat. Alright, can I talk to Leia? stands over Leia, singing softly as she mutters about Gareth. And nothing. There, there, lass. Exter, here you go. Oversized armor. Pieces around a table. Oversized armor. Spread of maps. Every approach Oops. blocked. Oh, damn it! What good are battle tactics against those things anyway? He glances up. In quick succession, he becomes aware of both your presence and the fact that you're not a familiar face. Who the blazes are you? Hmm. I'm Ifan. Hey, Ifan, the there's his name. Joy, a seeker can always recognize a sorcerer when they see one. Oh, ah. I'm an elf. Vertus. Then he's as good as dead. We're the seekers he spoke of. We were supposed to free him. Instead, we failed him. Uh. Uh, Verdus seemed to recognize you as the same as him. Does that know what this might mean? A god woken? Surely not. Though if Verdus said so, you could be important. But there's no way to be certain until we've left this blasted island behind us. Yep. The sooner we leave, the better. The young man anxiously fidgets with his curved bow. You found a matter close to his heart, evidently. That's... That's easier said than done, I'm afraid. Much easier said. The Magisters have us cornered. They have these weapons called Shriekers. If we try to go against them unprepared, we're dead. We've lost many already. Uh, there must be a way to overcome them. Nothing's invincible. Ancient devices that can counter those things. Our leader, Sir Gareth, set out to find them so we could break the Magister blockade and escape this island. But he hasn't returned. If Sir Gareth doesn't come back with those weapons in tow, well, this island will be our grave. Uh, I'll look for him if it's a way to get up the island. You'll help us. His shoulders visibly relax, the weighty armor upon them settling with a click. Thank you. Allies are in short supply in this place. If you help us, I promise we'll get you as far away from this place as possible. I have some questions for you. Please ask. Whatever helps. You have any idea where Gareth might be? None. He set out to find those source weapons, and that's okay. the last we saw of him. Where'd you hear about the source weapons? The masked priestess, Gratiana, told Sir Gareth of them after she granted us shelter here. She was reluctant at first, but... Well, Sir Gareth can be very insistent. Speak to her if you wish. Alright, gonna go talk to her again. Mm, I'm gonna look at your wares. There we go. With that. 
Ooh, polymorph. Yes, bullhorns. The birds are asleep. The moon's in the sky. Medusa's the head. Us. You're safe in bed. Cool. So close your sweet eyes and rest your wee head. Chloroform. Put someone to sleep. Cloak and dagger. Teleport without breaking sneaking. Nice. Oh, she's nice. Ooh. That's bleeding. If it has no physical armor, that's awesome too. Cool. Finally got some new stuff for Sibyl. Oh, look at blues. Thanks. Nah, I don't care. Whoa. Dope. Smoke and screams. All right, the rest will just do. Uh, I just lost a thousand. That hurts. That hurts a lot. Someone take these collars off me. All right, uh, you are going to learn bull horns. And we have to reorganize this crap. No, stop. And then Sibyl's going to learn these. Alright, let's reorganize this garbage. Do, 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 do. Go away. Go away. Full horns, brah. Damn it. Alright, and then this one is a source point. That's gonna move over here. That. And I could learn Searing Daggers, but that sounds like garbage. Alright, it's Sibyl. Can't wait till you can do that. It's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna move here. There we go. Nice. All right. Anything else? Hey, what's up there? Yep, just about to end here, actually, Yuri. Just rounding off some stuff so we can get right into it in the morning. So we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to talk to this dude, learn the rest of the story from him, and then we'll talk to her about the source points. So save away. Whew. But that was fun. We made some really good progress. Um, so hopefully you guys are liking it. If you are, remember to like, subscribe, comment. It helps me out a lot. Let's you know what you're liking and what you're not liking. Uh, we're going to be playing some more tomorrow. Because today's Wednesday, right? Today Wednesday? Or today Thursday? I forget. Today's Wednesday. We're good. So we'll be playing tomorrow. Took a break from the show. Three undergrads. Nice. Yep. Fun times. Hopefully you're enjoying your show. But uh, we're going to be playing some more of this tomorrow. I think, actually, I'm not going to spoil anything. I think I know what's coming up. I need to find out a way to um, get those collars off because I don't remember how. Also, we need to remember to upgrade Sabeel's Polymorph and add strengths to Loza. But um, bring on the puppers. You see them? Hey, how come the alert didn't go off? <gasps> Rude, but hey, Yuri. Thank you for them biddies, man. I don't know why the alert's not going off. Is something broken? Let me... Hold on. 
on a minute. Let's see if I can force it. Huh. Something's goofy. It's like I've seen that happen before where sometimes I switch a scene and it doesn't go off, but I see I see the message that that's why I have the messages in chat as well because we miss it. It's pupper some last minute love indeed. <laughs> Jade is all perking up. You can see mama's ears here. There she goes. There's a nose. There's a mama nose. There's a mama nose. Going up. Show him your nose. Come on. Come on, mama. Come over here. Come here. Look. Show me your face. There's your face. I'm gonna shake. Here's your good pop. I'm gonna shake. Nom, nom. You're dumb. You dropped it. What are you gonna do, huh? What are you gonna do? You're drooling already. Nah. <laughs> Jade is drooling. I've never seen her drool for treats. She's only ever drooled for bananas. Want a five? Want a five? Oh, thank you for the five. Good doggo. Good Jade. Ugh. Slime everywhere. <laughs> Sounds great. Yeah. Mama's isn't a cuddler until it's bedtime, and then she's all sorts of cuddly. But, uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in to me. Um, what am I missing today? I wish there was a date marked on that. Because it doesn't tell me how many in total you've given. Oh, there it is. Four hours. All right. Yuri, thank you for them 10 bits today, man. I appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, we had a we had a really good turnout today. We had some people we never... Oh. She dropped her toy on my little thing. Or her dr treat. But, uh... We had some. We had a good turnout today. It was cool. Uh, I was worried that this game wasn't going to get much attention or notice or whatever, but I'm having fun. I hope you guys are too. But yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. You you got it, Yuri. You've been here long enough. <laughs> and uh, remember to spay and neuter your pets, adopt a shop, donate to a rescue if you can afford it, or open up your house up to the possibility of fostering. That is a very rewarding experience and helps those animals and rescues out that are very much in need. Anyway, I'm Vasev. This is Jada. Mama's is walking around down there. Thank you for, so much for tuning with me, and I'll catch you guys next time. See ya!